hello guys welcome back to our channel a fortnight ago chief falai ulu falai one of the uh, elder statesmen politicians of the i think the 90s late uh late 80s early 90s who's who was a prominent person when it comes to southwestern politics and nigerian politics in general cried out on how headsmen fulani headsmen had gotten earlier and are planning to do so as they as they invaded his farmland and burned his proceeds and he was calling on all stakeholders and also Amatekun even filed all the necessary documents needed for his protection and security of his farmland. While he's talking about protection and security and the fact that uh, quick actions need to be done to secure the southwestern state, another group in southwestern region are also count should i say contradicting but they're actually suing for peace and saying these things must be done so that they can live in peace with the same fulanis that chifolu falai is talking about but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube don't forget that uh, some months some weeks back you know nigerians or Lagosians cried out as they saw a, a, a kingdom should i call it kingship a ruler of the emirs a ruler also of the fulanese already seated in lagos state and they had to cry out that already in Lagos, are they trying to finalize Lagos? But let's find out in the full news. Where the Yoruba Council of Euro of the Youth, the Yoruba Council of Youth and Yoruba Council of Women Ward, as Igbe Igbemo Akpopo Yoruba Lagbaye has called for peaceful coexistence among each other, also the Fulani groups across the country. The president of the group, Are Oladotun. Hassan, in a press statement issued in Abuja, expressed dismay when he read on various platforms the brewing issues on social media, batters and arguments about Sarikin Fulani of Lagos. Hence, the need to correct the ill motivations or ill motivated notions before the country slipped into another tribal war in Nigeria. He called on members to halt the spread of falsehood and ethnic bigotry against Sarikin Fulani. Of Lagos, Alaji Abubakar Mohammed Bambadon, Bambando, and called on the need for members to focus on their internal solutions. In his words, definitely there is monumental cracks in the wall. In view of the current destabilities and undercurrent of corruption, infrastructural decay, and deliberate attempt to undermine our development, peace, unity, and progress as a people concurrently led by a few Olagachis, both of the self of both of the self-centered southern gladiators, but more prominently northern extractions. Nonetheless, let us not get distracted and turn this issue of Oba Fulani of Lagos into brigadage, just as we have other ethnic groups with the ethnic toga of Sarikin House ha Hausawa. Fulani, Ezendibo, Obas covering Lagos and other parts of Yoruba land vis vice versa for many centuries and ages long before we were born. Let us not allow ourselves nor this discourse to degenerate into extremist and ethnic affairs. It is high time we first focus equipped with fundamental solutions on our internal challenges confronting us through the hosting of yoruba dialogue a summit inviting all our political leaders stakeholders royal obas chiefs captains of industries women and you just like we did in ibada declaration in 2017. with due respect based on personal experience this man alaji bambodo saved a war between the south and the north that could have divided this country two years ago when the northern coalitions gave 30 days quit notice to all southern citizens resident in the north to vacate their land or risk to be killed till date no one knows how we resolve the brohaha today we of the coalition of southern nigerian groups csg and the coalition of nigerian of the northern groups cng csg and cng and other civil society organizations jointly formed the national alliance for development as nadav 
with greater synergy on the Nigerian Youth Coalition, NYC, and other issues of mutual national interest is built on respectively. All right. I like the whole concept. It's a beautiful one. But the question is, while we have um, the Oba, quote and unquote, of Fulani or ML of Fulani in Lagos, how do we use his presence now to stop the notorious activities of the Fulani headsmen or their nefarious activities and their social vices in our, in our villages, in our farmlands, and in our bushes? How do we use his presence as an advantage to cope than social menaces. Now, that is where the question lies. We're not trying to become bigots, but we're also looking at the fact that if they have this affinity to always have this ownership mentality, wherever they go to, they want to uh, full analyze the place, then by all means, you should understand why Nigerians are a bit skeptical having them around. How much more having someone in that position of Fulani Emir or a Fulani Empire in Lagos? Not in the in, 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 in 10 years' time, 15 years' time, the next thing we get to hear is uh, Lagos is as much as the Fulani state as it is with the Southwest. Then the next thing we'll be hearing after like 20 years' time that Lagos is actually a Fulani state. It's a gradual process. The session is gradually taking place. So Nigerians are a bit skeptical. So you should understand where the fears are coming from. Just fairly recently, we, uh, or rather uh, about a year ago, we had um, Bode just saying that the bushes belong to Fulanis. Okay, that Nigerians, the, the citizens, the villages should focus on their villages, but the bushes belong to them. Those are inciting statements that would make anyone very uncomfortable having Fulanis around. Not um, having Fulani headsmen really around. But let's hear what other Nigerians are saying before we go into the nitty gritty of this whole detail. This one here is saying, you're playing with debt. How can you coexist with Fulanis for peace? Have you seen what Nigerians are saying generally? Just take a look at the North. You better be wise now before your foolishness puts your region into an ending war until they successfully sack you and your generation to come out of your home. Mm. This one here is saying, do we have Bale or Oba in Sukuto? You must be looking for cheap popularity or have collected bribe or better still, the organization has above a Fulani impersonating organiz organization, hypocrites. This one here is saying, Mr. Peacemaker, oh there, he said Mr. Peacemaker and Yoruba Board of Trustees continue to be using cobra snake head, scrubbing your nose. It's a pity that if the danger will come, you and your family will not leave to, to, to tell the story. Remember the prevention, remember that prevention is better than cure. Late Are Afunja was advised to do away with the Fulani Aleme. He'll turn deaf ears. History will tell you where he landed. Remember the proverbial, proverbial saying that says, Omali, Loma ni fewo, owo si juwe ile babare means it's a bastard child that will use the left hand to describe his father's house. My advice to you, Mr. Peacemaker, is to rethink of what you are advocating. A word, they say, is a not for the wise. I don't want to go through all the details. In fact, Nigerians are really talking. Okay, let me just take uh, two or three thereabout. But honestly, they're actually tilting towards the same thing. Look, once beaten, twice shy. All right, history keeps repeating itself again. It keeps repeating itself again and again. Do you need history to repeat in Lagos? All right, but let's hear what other Nigerians are saying. This one here is saying, he can never happen anywhere in the north and southeast. We have our own Oba in Lagos. It's a taboo having another Sakini or Serekin Fulani in Lagos. It's a distraction. Go to the north. You will see, you won't see a Bale or Oba. Go to the eastern part of Nigeria. We won't see Oba. So why do Yorubas are cowards always be a scapegoat? I pity the Yorubas. We should stop being stupid and do the right thing. Nothing like one Nigeria. This one here is saying, so because of what he did two years ago, are you now paying him back? Remember the story of Olu Rombi promised to Iroko. Any mistake now may be too costly. Beware. Oh, and Jiras are talking and they are picking history. All right. You have heard what the people are saying. And all of them are all actually uh, drawing uh, the peacemaker, his attention back to history. We are not being bigotry here. We're not playing bigotry here. We, I'm not a bigot. We're only saying for peace to reign. Because by the time we begin to allow uh, some of these um, uh, uh, traditional rulers, um, 
should i say nice rain quick rain bit by bit this generation will go off probably in some in years to come then the the history of that particular state may get twisted and before you know it if history is not passed on it will get to a time where it will be a case of fulanis actually migrated to lagos in 1907 that's what you begin to hear and who will be there to change the narrative let's keep situations let's actually let sleeping dog lie and let's be let's not begin to do things that tomorrow our children will begin to question us that how did we get here all right if there is no serekin before now we shouldn't permit it with due respect and if it's going to come down then there should, there should be strong benefit it's going to make sure that fulani headsmen and dear and nefarious activities is brought to an end and i mean practically not uh audio talk practically and we see evidences or else man let's 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 stay keen to where we are let's go wrap it up let's put it in our comment section what do you think about this latest group some persons are some persons are saying maybe they don't exist. I think they do exist.